It has got to be one of the biggest questions ever asked. Are we alone? But seriously guys, you have to wonder if we're alone in the universe. When you think of all the stars in the night sky, with each star at the center of their own individual solar systems, the fact that there are literally billions of stars visible on a clear night makes the mind boggle, but they can't all be poisonous wastelands, can they? We think not. In fact, the chances are that interstellar travelers have actually visited the Earth in the distant past. Think about it. There are numerous depictions in the forms of hieroglyphs, Sanskrit, rock carvings, paintings, etc. all the way down the line right up to the eyewitness accounts in the modern world. There are millions of singular pieces of evidence. Why is that? Well, why do you think that is? You got it. Extraterrestrial beings are keeping an eye on our progress and survival. Now, before you dismiss this, ask yourself a few basic questions that are only answered by the words ET involvement. How did they cut and move the massive stones for all the mega ancient sites across the globe? Some of the stones are in excess of a thousand tons. Why are government officials coming out and declaring that aliens are in direct contact with world governments? What are the Nazca lines for? And why do you believe in gods? We don't want to go too deep with this just now, but you know what we are getting at there, right? Anyway guys, we want to bring you some fresh content, so we thought you would like to hear about the Southern Television Broadcast Interruption from 1977. Just wait till you hear this. On the evening of 26 November 1977, a speaker interrupted transmission for six minutes and claimed to be a representative of an intergalactic association. Seriously guys, this actually happened, so stay tuned. The voice, which was disguised and accompanied by a deep buzzing, broke into the broadcast of the local ITV station Southern Television, overriding the UHF audio signal of the early evening news being read by Andrew Gardner from ITN to warn viewers that all your weapons of evil must be removed and you have but a short time to learn to live together in peace. The interruption ceased shortly after the statement had been delivered, transmissions returning to normal shortly before the end of the Looney Tunes cartoon. The broadcast took over the sound only, leaving the video signal unaltered aside for some picture distortion. The incident caused alarm locally and attracted considerable publicity in the next day's Sunday newspaper. The event was reported around the world with numerous American newspapers picking up the story from the UPI press agency. The broadcast also became a footnote in UFOlogy. There had never been any explanation of the broadcast and the identity of the hijacker was never traced on Earth. Could this be an actual warning from an intergalactic association? If it was, they seem to be ticked off at how humankind are evolving here on Earth. What do you guys think of the warning message? Did we heed the warning? Comments below. Thanks for watching and remember, the ways by which we arrive at knowledge are hardly less wonderful than a discovery of these things themselves. In our obsession with antagonisms of the moment, we often forget how much unites all the members of humanity. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat to make us recognize this common bound. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. And yet I ask you, is not an alien force already among us? From this distant vantage point, the Earth might not seem of any particular interest. But for us, it's different. Consider again that dot. That's here. That's home. That's us. On it, everyone you love, everyone you know, everyone you ever heard of, every human being who ever was, lived out their lives. The aggregate of our joy and suffering, thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economic doctrines, every hunter and forager, every hero and coward, every creator and destroyer of civilization, every king and peasant, 
every young couple in love, every mother and father, hopeful child, inventor and explorer, every teacher of morals, every corrupt politician, every superstar, every supreme leader, every saint and sinner in the history of our species lived there on a mote of dust suspended in a sunbeam.